for him in the new car yep. round one. So it's huge, huge. Dean Carney, similar setup, twin turbo, SRT10, Dodge Viper, new sponsor as uh, Dean Carnage Carney. Love to see where he's at. The Hyper NFT, daily driven exotics, Dodge Viper, going against Dan Burkett. Dan Burkett, again, the Rad Industries, Gear Wrench, GT Radio, Mark IV, Toyota Supra, always has some good looking cars. Dan, uh, Dan Burkett, looks like he qualified 13th. Dean Carney qualifying 20th. New Viper looks really good. and. Uh, Again, that, that hyper NFT, it's all about uh, hyper cars, super cars, NFT, in the meta, just going digital. I love it. It's cool. I, I, again, just a, a new breed of technology, and some people don't understand it, but guess what? You don't understand Somebody's going to win. You got two amazing cars, high horsepower. Dan Burkett initiates. The GT radials go round. Nice job by Dan Burkett. Big angle. Ooh, looks like he kind of had a, a hiccup there. Threw a lot of angle out there. Look at that. Massive. Uh, kind of almost rotate. That's that's a hard act to follow. Yes, it is. He so, threw a lot of angle at outside zone one, and and that's gonna just absolutely throw off Dean Carney for sure. Again, you know Dan Burkett progressed with this Mar 4 Supra, uh, and just kind of a new look, a new feel. Always working on the rad industries. What what's your assessment? Well, let's look at this initiation first, Jared. See the cars getting the angle. Dean Carney's in decent proximity right here, but look at the way that. Rad Dan gets over angled there, look like, and slowed down considerably. Dean Carney had nowhere to go in that situation, and that is a, a, an area of the track where momentum is so important. If you're in the chase position and the lead car slows down on you, as a chase car, you have nowhere to go. And that means that you're gonna have to slow yourself down, the lead car is gonna take off, and now you're kind of sit, sitting there left hanging. And it looks like Dean Carney was left hanging in that situation. So the proximity is enough here that it's close enough that you could say that the, the lead car affected what's going on with the chase. It almost looked like he was going to spin in that area right there. So watch the car as he comes around. Yeah, right big, here. Big, big angle. A couple bing. of little bobbles right there. And uh, tries to get on throttle and carry through, but he just kind of left Dean hanging in the chase position. So Dean then doesn't have the momentum to get himself wide around. Uh, number two and three and of course as you get to three you can see da Dan has huge huge angle there as well and Dean Carney's just trying to play catch up at that point so uh, not ideal for Dean in the chase because of what happened in the lead so uh, personally I would put it on the lead car and uh, I would say that the lead took away the opportunity for the chase there I would just metaphorically say it's kind of like driving to Long Beach with all the construction bit of a roadblock that's road what kind of Dan threw up kind of yeah. a bit of a roadblock says not roads closed dog you're not going to come through here so <laughs> unfortunately you know with with rats with rad Dan's massive angle I think that really did disrupt so adding to your point your elaboration yep. so now let's see what we get run to the second half of this battle Dean Carnage Carney that hyper NFC Dodge Viper now coming into view of the fans here in the building in that first outside zone. Nice snappy transition by both drivers. And I believe Dan Ooh. definitely knows he's got to step up. Nice job by Dean Carnage Carney. Look at Brad Dan now getting right tucked in. Yep. Looks like just barely nicking it. There wasn't a tire. And you talk about the driver's meeting. You can't hit that cone, but we're talking bumper. Exactly. We're not talking tire. Don't put tread on it. Put a bumper on it. Yeah, put a bird exactly on right. it. Portlandia. So okay. the other issue that we're going to run into here is Dean Carney went a little long in outside zone three and dropped a tire on that white line on the outside there. And we're considering that an off course. So it'll be one tire off, won't be a big deal, but it's just something to add to the mix. Uh, looking at what Dean did otherwise though, great initiation. The transition between one and two was phenomenal. So right there you see him drop that tire. Not that big of a deal really in the, in the overall uh, side of things, but you can see that he was fast, he was committed in the lead. Watch his initiation here. Gets the car quickly to angle, accurately, gets back on throttle. As if you watch here, outside zone one was off a little bit, but then that transition was phenomenal to outside zone two. You can see that Dan is right behind him, but he misses three altogether. The only thing that's gonna save Dean here is if the, the other drive, judges think that uh, what happened in the lead position uh, on the first run where uh, Dan kind of over-rotated and slowed down, if they feel that that caused, uh, uh, sorry, Carnage not to really have anywhere to go. So nice little wall top there. I'm going to point it out again. So watch where the black, uh, there, there's, there's the black and the gray. When it switches from black to gray, the asphalt to the concrete, you see two white stripes. Mm -hmm. That's what you talk about a tire off. You yeah. want to stay within those two white stripes that are obviously slowly disappearing because of time. Yeah. But it's right prior to from the black to the gray, go from outside zone three into that touch and go and then bring into that final clip. That's what you talk about, a tire off. It's yeah. not obviously going off course, it's not inside exactly. clip, it's right before that touch and go. Slide him left, River Cat. 
right for Dean Carney. We've seen unanimous decisions, and there it is again, Dean Carnage Carney. Yep. So, Ryan, it's unanimous. We slide him all the way to the right. What justified that for you? Was it just, unfortunately, Dan's, let's call it what I call the roadblock? Was that yep. the deciding factor? That was really the deciding factor.